welcome back to the Texas Bucket List. It's time to check off an obvious stop in San Antonio, one we've been saving for some time. Now, chances are, if you've ever been to Market Square for a bite to eat, you already know exactly where we're going. So here's why Mi Tierra is Mi Favorito. San Antonio, a city unlike any other in Texas. The Alamo, the Riverwalk, and the missions are some of the most popular stops here. But when it comes to places to get a taste of Tex-Mex, Mi Tierra has been on top of that since 1941. So Tex-Mex food in San Antonio, it's really kind of where it started and culminated. Cariño Cortez grew up around all of this because her grandfather, Pedro, started all of this. All those years ago, Pedro purchased a small restaurant for $150. That original restaurant is at the center of the sprawling eatery that has expanded over the years, making Mi Tierra what it is today. A destination for a bunch of really hungry Texans. You know what visitors you guys have a year here? It's over a million. God. Yeah. It's nuts. That's <laughs> insane. It's crazy. How can they cram in that many meals a year? Easy. They never close. The sign outside literally, literally says, we never close, and people still ask, what time do y'all open? Does that really? Yes, 24-7, 365, we're here. It all starts with a comida, a culinary creation at the time that combined chili con carne merged with Mexican influences. Tex-Mex, it's not trying to be Mexican food, it's not trying to be Texas food, it's really its own cuisine. The Mexican guisos and stews that your grandmother's made from Mexico, but it's also crispy tacos that came out of a, a certain time and era. So that's what's really special about it. So we are one of the founders of Tex-Mex Cuisine. Being the third generation of Cortez's to care for this San Antonio institution is no easy matter. I think it's a lot of pressure just on our third and fourth and fifth generations and so on. Uh, we've got a lot of work to live up to, and it's also something that you can't let go by the wayside. It's definitely pressure, but I think it's the right kind. That being said, there are a few benefits. I've never had to wait here for a table, so that's one thing. <laughs> <laughs> this is always uh, one of my favorite rooms. Very colorful room. Extremely. <laughs> the rooms of this restaurant have seen all sorts of history, and to celebrate their story and the heritage of San Antonio, you'll find a mural that takes up a ton of space. After my grandfather passed away, my dad really wanted a way to commemorate, you know, the American dream. So this mural is named the American dream. You've got my grandparents in the middle, and then around them are their five children. And then you've got all these different Latino figures who've contributed either to our community, our family, our society, to help preserve our culture and help move us forward. Most of these actors, icons, and pillars of the Alamo City have eaten at Mi Tierra, and that includes some presidential company. I'm going to Mi Tierra. <laughs> so when he was president, he put us in his book, it's the only place he's ever eaten all three meals at. <laughs> <laughs> then there's the bakery, another iconic San Antonio stop that always earns 100% of the popular vote. All right, Cariño, this is most people's happy place, including mine. I know. Mine. <laughs> and there's a reason we put the bakery right up front when people walk in, yeah. so it kind of gets your appetite going. <laughs> no matter what kind of Mexican pastry makes your mouth water, you'll find it in this massive case, including a few original offerings that put the dulce in the pond. Our original baker, he made this pan dulce. It's a sweet bread stuffed with vanilla custard and then topped with cajeta, which is goat's milk caramel, and then topped with pecans. And so he had made this, named it after himself, and then his <laughs> wife, whose name is Sylvia, was like, okay, oh. you're gonna name something after yourself, what about name something after me? So the daintier oh, version, work. he made one Aww. for her. So that was the sweet story. Oh, her. so Ricardo and Sylvia are always together. I know, they're always next to each other. <laughs> What's it mean to you guys to have such an institution that's in, in Texas songs and a, a cornerstone of San Antonio culture and everything. Well, we feel really blessed to be able to share this this legacy from not only my grandparents, but also to second generation, third generation. We now have fourth generation family members working here. Um, it's a huge responsibility, but at the same time, it's a lot of fun. The Texas Bucket List is brought to you by Spirit of Texas Bank. Texans helping Texans. 
Slovacek Sausage. You'll love our sausage. Experience Brian College Station and Seaforce Natural Artesian Water by Chuck Norris.